Okay, people, so this is June 19th, 2018. What I'm going to upload after this little thing is just a little introduction, right? Um, yesterday, I was in the yard for like 12 hours, okay? I started working on the old hen house area. I'm turning it into a seedling room, right? So I had to lay out carpet because I'm working on clearing out the garage because there needs to be some repairs done in there, right? So anyway, today, I tried to get into uh, Shemay's... Uh, account face Facebook account right and her hotmail account was we reset the password right but for some reason we couldn't access her hotmail account I don't know if that has something to do with Facebook or what's going on all I know is people somehow some way we got caught up in some Facebook scam whether Facebook whether Facebook as a corporation third party is involved or whether Google as a corporation third party is involved I don't see how these multi billion dollar corporations can, can allow scams to be freely operated on the internet in terms of calling support numbers right Microsoft calling them like for Outlook Express to to get assistance with um, having your um, hotmail account you know being able to access it right uh, right along with Facebook anyway Tisha ended up phoning up a couple of numbers that I don't know what the hell happened people all I know is I'm going to be forwarding it to Facebook somehow some way to their head office and I'm going to be forwarding it to Google somehow some way to their head office as well as I'm probably going to take this to the police and have them investigate this because well assuming that they will investigate it because honestly people if if the police were investigating anything you would think that the first place that they would look would be on Shemay's Facebook page but it doesn't seem like anybody's tried to access anything because we got a whole lot of running around and not only that but we bought these today by the grace of God I actually had money in my account just so that we were told that we'd be able to get into Shemay's account. I don't even know what these are for, people. I have the receipts for them. I don't know how people use this stuff. Apparently somebody made 50 bucks off this today. So anyway, I'm just going to upload it and, it, you know, like, these corporations that are capitalizing off of the clients in terms of memorializing accounts against you know the family because I have tried to contact them via through their support through email and it doesn't work because they just cut you off and say case closed and that's the way it is uh, and then when you try and phone somebody all you do is get scammed out of money and told to go back and buy more cards and I'm like Tisha you didn't do that she says no I didn't I came home and then argue on the phone and it's just bullshit, people. Bullshit. Bullshit. I have her death certificate. I have her birth certificate. I have her social insurance card. I have all her ID. I have her care card. I am her mother. I should have access to my daughter's account. So, this is the point of this video, right? And Facebook is going to have to figure that one out because they're, they're gonna, I'm going to put this video up on, on the owner of Facebook's on his on his Facebook page. I'm going to tell him to watch it because his billion dollar corporation is just going around scamming people one way or another. Somebody's making money off of families where their loved ones have been hijacked on these web pages that you sign up to as a Mm, you know, a user to a website. And then once you die, you lose all rights. Not that you had any, obviously, from the first beginning of setting up the account. So, um, I don't think I'm going to include me working out in the hen house area. That will just be a separate video. And then Andre went to the beach and he did a little video with uh, roasting hot dogs and marshmallows at the beach. And crab. <coughs> and crab. And crab. And we saw the rock crab. And they seen rock crabs. 
We haven't oh, done the rock. okay, quiet. We haven't done the barbecue in the back because it started raining and whatnot. So maybe tomorrow. So anyway, I'm just gonna up put this first, and then this nonsense that we got scammed with trying to access my daughter's web page in terms of being on Facebook, right? Which also leads into Instagram. So I'm looking at taking this to court, people, to get access to my own daughter's information. Like, seriously, I don't know what else to do, right? You try and do it through the email, and they blow you off. You try and call numbers, and they just you just get scammed, right? You get scammed with companies that are in the billions of dollars in terms of net wealth. Okay. I'll just put it down. by you just we will have to create a security portal in order to just get access on her account and then we will be able to block the hacker and then you can get access on her account also okay so uh, we have to generate a temporary passcode and then you will be able to get login okay sounds good can i ask you a question sir um, do you know when this when do you know when this hacker logged in because we just got off the phone with um, Outlook and they did something with the computer I'm wondering maybe if it has something to do with them did this happen today uh, no miss it is not happened today okay okay I would like to tell you just I would like to tell you one more thing that uh, the hacker did not get access by the help of the passcode okay he just used the security questions to get login into the account. Okay. Oh, wow. Some security questions which has been said by that person, okay? Okay. Oh. Okay, we just uh, in order to fix this issue or to get access to the account, just we will have to set a security on a account. Okay. And then we will have to just block the hacker and then we can get access or we can generate a temporary passcode for you. And then you can get login. You will be able to see the jaws of Jackson because there are lots of chats. Okay. And okay. then you will have all the information and all the activities. That, okay, that, that sounds and good. We will take just, okay, miss. And just we will take 5 to 15 minutes to create a security portal. And it's uh, by the help of the Google tools, we will have to create that security. And miss, just we will take 5 to 15 minutes. And meanwhile, just you will have to do one thing. You will have to get a Google card in order to fix this issue, okay? In order to run the software. It's a Google card. Inside the Google card, there will be a Google activation key which can run the software. Once we run the software, we will be able to get access on a high account and we can block the hacker too, okay? Um, do I do that on the computer? Uh, miss, just uh, I would like to tell you that don't do anything by yourself because it's all about the hacking activity, okay? Okay. And you don't have any of the proper tools and the necessary securities. How do you get the Google you, card? Okay? So how would I get the Google card then? Okay, Miss. In order to get a Google activation key that you can that you get that activation key inside the Google card. I would like to know, do you have any grocery store nearby you? A grocery store? Oh my god. Um, a grocery store? Like a shopper's? Uh, it, it might be any of the grocery stores, the Walmart, CVS, or any well, We have a Walmart out here. So now they got you running to Walmart? Uh, we do. It's, um, like 20 minutes away. And it's CVS, 7-Eleven, with any Kmart. Any of the grocery stores? No, no, we have uh, like Walmart, like shoppers, um, gas stations. Can we get it from a gas station? Yes, miss, uh, miss, you may give a try to the gas station. Husky. If, is there any subway or any kind of a store, okay? Husky. Okay, so I go get a Google card. <laughs> okay, miss, and just uh, one thing the parking lot of the store, just say hello to me, I will instruct you, because there will be lots of cards, okay, and we will have to use the suitable one, which can run the software, and meanwhile, just I am creating the Google activation, okay, it's a Google activation portal, okay, oh. and with, meanwhile, you will have to be in a hold with me, you will have to stay on the line, we don't have a Google card, creating portal, we need some information of the user, okay, 
Okay. Well, how the hell are we going to get a Google card? We can't get a Google card. Well, is there any other way than a Google card? Oh, uh, Miss Toaster, uh, you can get that Google card from any of the grocery stores. If you no, I'm saying, right. like, do we have to get the Google card? Can we just get something else? Or do we need it? Uh, Miss Toaster, uh, let me check that what we can do for you. Please. Okay, let me check my phone. But the Google meeting has been me uh, a, a like a, a a password to access her account with no problem you know what I mean like why why would I have to keep spending money on this it makes no sense that's a hundred dollars no I'm not cards. no no way I'm getting this to the fucking cops let me speak to this dude Uh, the let me speak. You let said me you speak. said you said in the meantime you're gonna write me the password. Let me speak. Can you can I see if I can access her account before I go and block for you to block these other people? Like that's the main thing that no. I want to get in. Everybody else can get fucking in, but we can't. I tried to see it ought to be in your account, but it is not going through because let me speak to them. Let me speak to them. Okay, my, my mom wants to speak to you. Okay, this is the mother right. of my daughter who you are playing Google games with. Seriously, are you there? Are you there? Mom, it's on speakerphone. Whatever. Listen, I just went and bought two Google Play cards because you wanted somebody in your company said that we had to buy those things in order to be able for you to do your job. Now that we've done it, you're asking us to go back and buy more because five more hackers in the last 30 minutes has somehow attached themselves onto my daughter's account and you want me to go off and buy more cards so that you can block those IP addresses so that you can give us the information in terms of we want to access my daughter's webpage while well, you look at it. You get to look at it. Everybody else gets to look at it, but I don't. So, since I have a receipt for these right. Google cards, I will be taking it to a lawyer, and I will also be taking it to the cops, if you don't fucking help me, because I'm getting mad. I'm serious. I am so serious. You don't understand. You do not understand. I am the mother. I have a birth certificate. I have her driver's license. I have her care card number. I have photo ID. I have her death certificate. If you would like me to fax that or email it to you through an attachment, you are more than welcome to ask me and I will do that to verify that I am her mother. All right? We tried to change her Hotmail account, but somebody's hacked into that, too, because they forward us back to you. Because even though we can access the Gmail, we can't access the Hotmail. And uh, Outlook that represents Hotmail said, phone you guys back, give us the key, and then we phone them, and then we get to look in that account. They but interesting how that guy got to look in the account, too. So, so far, three or four people have looked in this account in the last two hours since we've been dealing with you. But we have not had access to it in months because somebody in your company moralized it without my permission. Without my permission, the parent. Go ahead and talk now. All right, ma'am. All right, I do understand that you have, you have been frustrated, right, ma'am? Please, write down be frustrated. Because, like, I tried to send to you all the information, but since there were five hackers who are following this, all right, who are, fo who are following that, I mean, who are following that main hackers, right, that is the reason I was unable to send to you that code, all right. Okay. So we just look at only two of them so that I can block that five of that, five hackers which is still remaining over here, and at the meantime, 
you'll be getting the reimbursement of your hundred dollars and at the meantime I will generate it. How much did I pay for those things? Fifty bucks. I paid fifty dollars for two cards to get information to my daughter's account which I legally have the right to ask for. So who's your supervisor? I'm done. Who's your supervisor? I'm taking this up to the next level. We are escalating this. Do you understand me? I'm pissed off. I don't got time for this. I will be forwarding this to the Surrey RCMP in British Columbia, Canada. This is being documented as we speak. Give me a pen. Give me a pen. No, give me a pen. Besides you. Not playing games with fucking Facebook. It's right there by the computer. All right. Hello? Hello? What's your ID number? What is your ID number? Give it to me now. Write them ID number 1587. 1587. I'm sure you're a very nice guy just trying to do your job. Now, what is the name of your supervisor? Because I want to be directed to them. Please, supervisor's name and number. And you can send them an email and tell them to email me back or call me. Better yet. He should have it on. He could probably Hello? Just for you over. Hello? Yeah, I'm here, ma'am. I'm here. What's your supervisor's I'm name? Here. What is your supervisor's name? Okay, you can write down my supervisor's name. It's Steve Collins. Keith? K? Steve, Steve Collins. Steve? How do you spell it, sir? Yeah, Steve. Steve, S T E V E. Uh huh. And then Collins. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Does he have a direct line, or are you gonna have him call me? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can, you can, you can have a direct line number. May I have it? Well, you can also. I mean, I. Like, yeah, I mean, I. Like, we can also call back. All right. Pardon me. I mean, we can also call back, or you can also have the direct line. Well, this is being recorded, so if you don't want his na if you don't want his direct line being on fucking line here, then that's fine. No, no problem with me. You can have him call back on this number. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Mom. There you go. They hung up. No, they didn't. One moment. Hello? 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 Yeah, very good afternoon, ma'am. This is Steve Collins, right? This is... How are you doing today? Is this Steve? Yeah, this is Steve Collins. How are you doing today? Okay, you got the mother on the phone. Okay. So... so ma'am, alright. Yeah, ma'am, exactly, alright. Uh, I mean, uh, the issues, I mean, the issues uh, of your daughter account is that, right? I mean, you have got two cards of $25 each, right? Right. With the help of that, right? With, with the help of that card, we have blocked that jo Joseph Jake, right? So, which is, I mean, which is hackers, right? So, uh, right at this moment, ma'am, there were five more followers who have Excuse me? Uh, Can I ask you a question? How did you yeah. How did you block uh, Shimei's uh, Hotmail dot com account where I can't access that? How did you do that? How did your system? No, seriously. How did your system? How did your system make it so that I couldn't get into my hot my daughter's Hotmail account? I changed the password legitimately through a Gmail account, and it's not connecting because somehow it's connected to Facebook. Okay, let me tell you, right? Because we have to link, I mean, like, if you have access to the number, we are going to send you the code, all right? With the help of that code, you can use her account, all right? I will generate you the password and the code, all right? You can use that. Why do I have to pay for that, sir? I'm her mother. I'm, I, I, would like to, I would like to submit death certificates, birth certificate, uh, current up-to-date ID in terms of visual driver's license, that type of thing, okay, to verify that I am her mother and I want legal access to my daughter's account. I don't want to pay $200 to hack, to pay for hackers to be blocked at their IP address so that they can look at whatever's all going on. No, you know, no, 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 this, this is not okay, right. Wait, hold on. This is extortion. Mom, can I have the phone they extortion. sent just to send the number to Shmay's, I mean, the, the verification code to Shmay's Outlook and we can get, let me, give me the phone. Excuse me, sir. Can you just send me the verification he just hung up. Exactly, because that's the same fucking dudes, Tisha.
It's all the same fucking dude sitting up in funk, some fucking in India or something. Okay? Those aren't even Americans. Not now. I don't see the receipt in here. It's on. Where's my card? Where's the receipt? It's right there. What now they're not answering your phone? Is this even a legitimate call center? I, I'm gonna upload this and I'm gonna post it on the, what's his name's Zuck, the, the owner of this place, freaking Facebook. I'm gonna put it on his fucking page and then he'll see how stupid they are. They're not answering, they're playing games, Tisha. This is the same call Facebook help center that had my daughter run into the gas station buying Google cards to go buy, told to go buy five more, even though she just spent 50 bucks. $50 that technically I didn't have, but I got some child support in the mail, so there you go. Why? I'm listening to this shit. Yeah, well, they're not answering, so... Are you done? Yeah. All right. Okay, we're going to try on, on my Winnie the Pooh landline. <laughs> we feel like we just got scammed for 50 bucks, people. I don't even know what these are for. Okay. We have to pay this in order to get a code so that I can access okay. my daughter's... Uh, what do you call it? Facebook page while well, in the space of an hour five hackers are already hacked in. Hi, um, you guys are being really shady. You're not answering my phone call. I'm just wondering if you can send the verification code to um, the Hotmail. Because um, Outlook said that they would help me. From your account? From the account, yes. I just need the verification code. No, this is not the first time I was on you on the phone with you guys for almost two hours. You guys got me to buy two Google Plus cards and then hung up on me. Then did you buy it? I did buy it, and then they asked me to go buy more. When did this happen? This happened literally 15 minutes ago. And what's the name of that person that you're giving the card to? Uh, I do not know the name of the guy. Sorry. We okay, I have the ID number. Where I have um his ID number though. Would you like that? Yeah. Where did it go, Tisha? I just had that piece of paper. Here it is. Um, the ID number that he gave me was one five eight seven. And supervisor's name. And the supervisor's name is Steve Collins. That's what he he said. His supervisor name was Steve Collins. Um, the problem is I'm trying to get into my sister's Facebook. She has passed away, right? And they said that they can give me the password, but because there's hackers, that I have to keep getting these Google Plus cards so they can block the hackers. 
So I got the Google Plus cards. The one guy told me to wait outside just to make sure the money, um, the card goes through. And my phone was at 5%, so I started walking home, and then he transferred me over to another guy. And the other guy said, I have to go get more cards because there's five more hackers now. Okay, and did you get it? No, I didn't, because I already spent 50 bucks on two cards. You mean like 25, 25, or 50, 50? Um, 25, 25. Um, Google Play. Uh, and what will be the username for the particular account? Um, Shemay Chorney. Geraldine. Like Shemay Geraldine Chorney, that's her full name. Can you spell it out? Yep. It's um, S H A M A Y G E R G E R E E L E L E A L E N E G E R G E R E L E N E and then Chorney and then Chorney C H O R N E Y Yeah Okay, thank you. Um, she changed her phone number a few times, so I have a few You've different numbers, but I already have done this with the other guys. But I feel like the other guys have scammed me. We've done it. They should have it on the Shh. file. The email address is shimei.chorney at hotmail.com. Hotmail, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull out the file and give me a second, okay? Okay. So this is the senior officer. Where did you provide that? Uh, 50 denomination card. Where did you give that fifty dollar card? I g who did I give it to? I uh, know. Who is your who is your concern officer? May I know the name of your concern officer? Uh, where I provide that fifty denomination card, fifty license key, the activation card. The activation cards were Google Play. Yes. Where did you provide that Google Play? To one of your. To one of your workers. I would like to have his name. Oh, his name. Um, he only gave me his ID number, and then it's um. Okay, may I have it? Yeah, one five eight seven. And then my mom asked for his supervisor um name, supervisor's name, and he said Steve Collins. Okay, Steve Collins, and his his email address. I mean, like his ID is one five eight seven, and uh, name of the concern officer is. Right? Yeah, that's what he said. All right. So be on the line with us, okay? I will get back and I will, I will look at every information of uh, Mr. Steve and I will talk with him and I will get back to you. Don't hang up the line, okay? Okay, I won't. Be on the line with us. All right. Fifteen minutes ago. The phone number that I was using? Yeah, no, 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 the phone number that you dialed. Oh, it's 604-588. No, that you dialed them. Like the phone number belonged to Steve. Oh, he, he didn't give me his number. He, oh wait, he called me. I'll give you the number, what he called me on. One moment. Okay, check your information. Um, are you ready? It's, um, it was, um, 5722. Okay. Let me check the information. And in the meantime, for me to recover this information, you need to help me with the activation card. And whatever penny you have spent on behalf of this, you'll be getting back at the very same time, okay? Okay. In my, in my hand, all right? Everything will be issued. Uh,
about me, I'm going to issue it and everything for you. All right, I'm the senior officer here in the branch of New York. So I'll be giving you it and everything, and you'll be on the line with me till and unless I finish the work, and you get your money back. All right. So for this, you need to help me with activation card, okay? And since you tell me that you already gave it out, uh, you know, like 50 denomination card of Google activation card mm -hmm. to exit, I will use a different license key to make a different portal, okay? Because I have to check it and everything might be, you know, like there's some kind of cyber problem or like some kind of, you know, software problem. So we have to, you know, like instead of uh, spending a lot of time or like instead of having a problem with it, okay, I'll put it back with my server and I will just activate it. So I will just, you know, like reactivate another software and make a portal for you. And when that finish, I will just provide you with and everything and you can get your money back into the Western Union of Walmart, okay? So, uh, in which store you purchased that Google activation card? Um, I got it at the Husky, the Husky gas station. Okay. It's a Husky gas station. Okay, do you have any nearest store on behalf of this? Like, do you have any friend store? Closest door? Do I have any what? A closest. Do you have, how far is the store? It's, um, 10 minutes away. No, so why why am I going to go back to the store, sir? Because you you know like I need to make a new portal for this, okay? And I have to Oh no, it's okay. You know the $50, the $50 isn't anything, okay? We don't want the money back. Okay. We just want to access my sister's account. And what the problem that I had That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do, all right? First I'm not going to reimburse the money, okay? First I'm not going to reimburse. All I need to do is recovery software I need to make a different portal to get it to this what, is, what does that mean it's an app what portal it means like, I mean like the getaway okay the getaway for me to send her the, you know, like the recovery password or like the recovery information uh, can you just send it to her email uh, for this I need to install a software a recovery software and I need to recover it and everything with the help of this software okay? um so what did and what did the guy do if you don't mind me asking, because he told me to spend fifty dollars on what? Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, that is the reason I would like to check it and everything. Maybe there is some kind of IP address problem, or like the number has been invalid. Maybe that is the reason. Okay, the number which I'm talking about, the Facebook number which they put up in the number, you know, like the, the number with, with the link with the Facebook. Maybe that number has been valid. Or, I mean, like invalid, or like the IP address problem. Maybe that is the reason that, you know, like, a portal which you make has been getting so, you know, like, crashed. Because they are, you know, like, they might be making a portal for the recovery. Or, like, some kind of, you know, like, I don't know. There's a lot, you know, like, this is a technical, you know, like, technical. You know, like, okay, like, sir, you know what? I don't think I'm going to have to be spending any more money. We have all this on, like, recording. So, we're going to be taking this to court. Um, just because it seems like a scam. You know what I mean? You guys keep telling me to go to store, to go spend more money, and there's different problems. Now you're saying you got to do a different problem. The other guy said there's five more hackers. The other guy said there's only one hacker. It doesn't make any sense. All right. All right. So you've been saying this is a scam, all right? It's, it's up to you. But if you, you know, like, if you like to listen more, you know, like, what I'm trying to say, you know, like, this is not a scam. And, you know, like, everything is not a scam. Just look at your finger. You know, like, all the thing is not equal. You know, like, somewhere like that, like... Here, let me speak now. Hello, you got the mother again. So, the only thing I'm interested in right now, because I'm tired, I will be forwarding this to the cops, and they can follow up on it. And if the cops don't do it, I'll be taking it to court, and I'll be seeing you guys at some point in court to get my daughter's information, and I'm not kidding. So, I am going to give you... I Excuse me, I'm not done talking, sir. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. What is your name? You are the, the uh, senior officer, right? That's what you... No, all I'm trying to do is get access to my daughter's account, but you're allowing all these hackers to do it for me. So, what is your phone number? No, I don't got time for this. I need to... I'm going to be phoning again tomorrow. Do you see? Hung up, people. Okay. Oh, this is the same. This is the same number. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know why you have um, three different numbers on Facebook. This is not the number I called.
<laughs> okay. So nice to know that your scam is all over Facebook. Thank you. I'm so proud of that. What happened? He said that I already called this number. This is not the number I called. Where's the number that you called? It was 888... Wait. It's this one. 888-343-0274. Where's that? 743. Uh, yeah, it means 743. Yeah. 0274. And where did that come from? Off of, off of the internet here. Go into the browser. I will. Can into you just... history. Um. It seems like Sean's busy right now. Uh, can I arrange a call back for, for you in five minutes? Yep, um, my number is 778. Uh, just a second, 778. H Hello? Hi, this is John Parker calling from Technical Support. Someone gave in a call asking for me, so I'm just returning the call. May I know how can I help you? Um, I'm pretty sure I was talking to you earlier about my sister's account. Um, me getting oh, it. Oh, yes, uh... I remember it, yes. Yes, the thing is, I, I was on the phone with Facebook and they just scammed me. They uh, told me to go to the store to get these Google Plus cards and they can like let me into her account, but because there's a hacker, they had to block the hacker, but then they wanted me to go get more cards because there's five more hackers. Like, and then they kept hanging up on me, so I try to ask for them to send over the verification code to you because that's the way that uh -huh. you said that you can let me enter account in that way. Right? That's right. Um, but they didn't do that, so is there any way that you can help me out? Um, uh, I really apologize. Um, have you already paid them the money? Did you them the yeah, yeah, I did. Um, let me tell you a uh, reality. There is no way you will be able to access your uh, sister's Facebook account. Unless I take it to court. I'm the mother, so what? what, what well, Why let, do you always freak out? Because mom, I, my this ear. is a game. My ear, please, mom. This is a game. What, what am I looking to do? It is. So what's, what, what, under, what legislation am I having to take this to court to get this oh information? Oh my God, Mom. No, he should know this. No, that is, no, nothing. There's nothing which can let you get into someone else's account. My daughter's dead. I'm her mother. I'm the executor of the um, estate. Bam. I got it. Pardon me? That, that doesn't, that doesn't give you any sort of, uh, you know, that doesn't make But hackers can hack in and you can make the, you can make the mother pay for, to block hackers. But I don't get to see who these hackers are. Is that what you're telling me? So you're in cahoots with Facebook? That's not the story I told you. That's not the story I but told But that's you. the reality of what just happened. somebody completely different. Yeah, but he's Microsoft. This is Microsoft Outlook? Oh my God. This is Microsoft Outlook, right? That's right. Okay, your, so your number is listed on... on Mom, can you... The number is listed on... Um, you represent? Facebook support. Okay, so I thought Facebook was supposed to be free forever. Yes, sir, it was free. So why are you trying to charge my sister with a Google Play card, something that can't be traced, it should be PayPal or something that can be refunded, shouldn't it? Yes, sir, listen, that card, you know, like, we are going to use that card, we can reload the money, you know, like, we can reload the money back into that card, and I'm going to help you to redeem the money into that, and we can, you know, like, you can kiss out the money into the Western Union or Walmart or any store around you, okay? I'll give you money tracking number, and I will link the card information with it, and I will generate the money tag. No, 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 I'm, I'm just confused as to why that form of payment was chosen for a service that alleged to be free. Your money for the price of the card, okay? 
Yeah, I'm I'm asking yeah. why did why was she directed to buy a card? Why was she directed to buy a card when she could and there are much more legitimate ways of paying for things online. So why did you tell her to buy a card? This is that's like I can't imagine that coming from Facebook, a multinational corporation which is clearly aware of scamming techniques such as this. We want to get into Shimei's account. Can we do it or not? Not through this guy. This guy's just scamming us. I know. You! You! This is a scam! How stupid do you think we are? Okay, alright, alright. Why would we have to pay for a password reset? I'm not telling that you guys are stupid, right? No, you're not. But to, like, I'm not, you know, I'm a... I grew up a millennial with a, a um, you know, dial-up modem. I understand scamming techniques. I understand multinational corporations. I understand Facebook. I have done multiple password recoveries. I'm just airing grievance now because this is nothing but a scam. How do we access Shmi's account? Not through this guy. You'd actually most likely go to Facebook um, and engage on the website with someone from support on the website, not this person who is asking for a money, this is like money order scams, this is like some pre-2000 stuff. Is he asking for more money? Yes, he, he is. <laughs> but don't worry, he can reimburse it back to the card somehow, which makes no sense if we're being charged. So why would we get reimbursed if we're being charged? No, thank you. We don't want help from you anymore. Please don't call us anymore. All right, bye. Okay, people, I don't know what the hell is going on with Microsoft, but we've reset Hotmail three or four times, and the only thing that's happened to your people is we got scammed. Hold on a minute. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to have to go to court or something here because... This is pathetic. You can't phone these people. If you think you can, all you do is get scammed out of money. And as you can see, just did it right here. Do you see that? Uh, we already had some dude from India access Shmay's account because he said he was going to do it that way. Then he sent us off to freaking, um, you can see here it says country, region, Canada. Right? I just changed the password. Right? And then over here... Where is it? Uh, not that one. Not that one. Shit's going missing. It's going, it's going into trash. Going into spam. What's this one? Not this one. There's some like shady stuff going on with Google and freaking Facebook and Gmail. Alright, all mail. Let's hold on. Let's try that. Uh, um, this is not what I'm looking for. Hold on a minute, people.